what happens if you use indigo without henna that and other questions that were asked i'm going to get those answered in this weekly series that we have asked henna sook and welcome my name is khadija i am the founder and ceo of henna sook i specialize in henna natural hair color and ayurvedic healthy hair care and i teach you everything you need to know about henna and jago body art as well and if you need an immediate answer we have this amazing chat feature right on our website at hennasook.com that gets you in touch with a real person so question one comes from margaret white and she asks do you use shampoo to wash out henna and indigo or do you use just plain water if you use shampoo what kind personally what i recommend is not to shampoo if you can avoid doing so after the coloring because sometimes that can pull out color and the other thing is if you already shampooed before you know your coloring treatment you don't need to cleanse again you need to really restore your hair with our cleansing restorative co-wash ideally this will help get everything out so these are the steps you're going to wash your hair cleanse it or pre-poo if you need more moisture pre-poo is very moisturizing and cleansing at the same time like one of our hair washes or shampoo bars and then you could color your hair then from there afterwards you use a cleansing co-wash to get everything out restore moisture and then you can dry and style moisturize all your steps afterwards once you're done so yes not usually plain water because your hair is going to probably need some type of moisture something to make it softer you know so this will be a perfect fit for you to do afterwards and it'll also detangle and get the color out a little bit easier and remember to always use a good shower head when you're removing henna and all the ayurvedic herbs because you don't want anything left in your scalp all right question two comes from ss it says help my hair is so dry after a week adding color with henna it feels like straw and worst of all i have low porosity hair yes i hear that often especially with low porosity hair uh, because the henna can be more drying so people get really nervous about coloring their hair naturally with henna because of that i highly recommend that you're making sure to add moisturizing ingredients like aloe or one of the hair oils to your henna hair color recipe use the cleansing co-wash at the end as well to wash everything out don't over cleanse pre poo instead to make sure it's very moisturizing and hydrated some people even put like a little bit of a light oil like if we're talking about a light oil maybe camellia before you color as well you can put a little bit it's not going to create a barrier just make sure it's not like a rich oil or a heavy oil because you definitely want your grays to get colored and you want the best color results but you know just play with that a little bit very very lightly very gently or spritz it you know what even better the hair tea spritz that before you do your color that's going to help as well our hair tea spritz we have a recipe right here on our youtube channel we can add a bit of oil to it so that's moisturizing and hydrating and just oh, it's a really great spritz that you could do on your hair right before color as well if you're very very worried when you're doing the color you steam that's going to help keep everything hydrated they sell handheld ones so you could definitely grab one or like a hooded one that you can use from home many of them have wheels actually even and you can find them right on amazon so definitely do that use a very good leave-in afterwards go back to using your hair tea spritz as often as needed and don't forget we have the moroccan rose water which is a natural hydrator that you can use on your hair and your face as often as needed so you'll definitely want to get that question number three comes from carol a follower of jesus christ asks what happens if you don't use henna and just go like just go in it you know in your hair with indigo right will the black color still take unfortunately no uh it will not indigo alone with no henna as its foundation henna is the base it's henna is what keeps the indigo in the hair you definitely need the henna as part of this recipe you cannot use indigo alone indigo alone is where it can make your hair kind of greenish and bluish and kind of a really off color it'll it'll be very odd and you'll definitely see that so you do not want to use indigo without henna so like even if you don't have like gray hairs because gray hairs are definitely gonna show up that kind of green hue you may even still see that in the light even if your hair is dark and you have no grays you just don't want to really use indigo alone some people do try to push it and try to get that tone but it's really it, it's just 
almost like a waste of your time to be quite honest like if you want your hair to be black definitely do that henna and the indigo and you will get that rich gorgeous black and it'll be like popping like it'll be beautiful and your hair will just feel really nice if you're following all the steps moisturizing drying and styling and just keeping it really healthy and if you want something more guided and you're not really sure like where to start with henna hair color we have a henna hair dye complete hair regimen and guide all included for one really great price with all the products so you're getting like six to eight weeks of treatments and regimen and upkeep and guidance when it comes to henna hair color and all the products that you need to get started and get to that color so you definitely want to check that out on our website there's so many resources for you guys to get started with that i've created that i know these will really help you get started in you know caring for your hair naturally ditching the chemicals and making that transition from you know perms and dyes and everything that you want to leave behind and how to easily come into incorporating more henna hair care treatments because you can take your time it's not a rush don't feel pressured just take it one step at a time that's why the hair regimen guides and everything i provided for you guys right on henna sook the quiz the live chat with hair experts like are right at your fingertips there is no reason especially in this new year there is no reason that you should not be doing at least one, two, maybe three treatments that you could do from Henna Sook, incorporate it into your regimen. And if you're even not sure, I offer consultations virtually. And when our new space opens in Columbia, Maryland, you'll get to see me in person and I'll get to see your hair. And don't forget, if you have questions, you can comment below and I will see you next time because I know you hit subscribe and hit that bell. So you're not going to be missing any of my videos. So I'll see you next time, guys.